Hey everybody, it's Robot here from Vespa Motorsport and ScooterWest.com. So today I'm going to do a real quick easy one. Let's show this in the past. It's a brake light modulator, super duper small, super simple to install. Uh, let's get right to it. It's going on this brand new 2023 Vespa GTS 300 HPE 2 as I like to call it. This is my own personal bike. Don't get the mod my own bike that much, but let's get right to it. Need a 10 millimeter socket first of all. Uh, the 2023s are a little different compared to the prior models. The older models had like a screw right underneath. If you watch my prior video on doing the brake light modular, I show how to do it on all those older models. So you get that single nut that's located pretty much directly underneath that. Go ahead and lift. If you're having trouble with the taillight on the Scooter West web store, super cheap. This is tool trim, several different little things. You can just get kind of behind it and give it a little pry because there's a pair of clips, like fastener clips on the top that hold this in place. So once you get those pop, especially one of them, you can kind of get behind there. And the idea is not scratch or paint. That's why I'm going beyond where it is. So at this point, you're going to see a single connector back there. Uh, this connector is held by a little plastic little tab. So go ahead and slide the connector towards the right of the scooter. So that's if you're sitting on a scooter. And now you have this little tab right here and just go ahead and push that up. All right, so at this point you see a little zip tie. There's some electrical tape uh, that covers the, the three wires. Carefully slice that electrical tape back a little bit right up to the zip tie. Again, it's a little different than the earlier models suggest watching my prior video if you're putting this on an older model but so go ahead and slide that back so the wire that you need to clip is going to be this white wire there's not much to play with right here but just clip it approximately in half go ahead and take a stripper it's about 20 gauge wire so uh, you only need to strip maybe 3 16 of an inch off the wire on each side And you can see I just pulled that little rubber grommet out so it gives you a little bit more room to work with. We'll put that ball back in place. So you could even just carefully nick the insulation and do it with a set of wire uh, cutters as well. So there's going to be two uh, crimps that you need on here. We'll put the female bullet on one end. Uh, Maybe a little bit long. So you may want to cut back some of the insulation on this because there's just not much wire to work with. I'm going to leave some of it though. Let's go ahead and put that on there. So it's just a little bit of wiggle room. So everything's a little tighter on these uh, newer models. They got everything packed. You know, that's everything with the wiring on these. I noticed a little bit more packed in. So go ahead and crimp that. You'll need like a crimper like this. this is a really nice set from Snap-on, but there's less expensive uh, ones available. And then we'll put the male bullet on the other end right here. So just drop that right on there, crimp that. The whole idea of this is you put this in here to mail in the female a bullet. If you want to reverse this or you need to remove it for some reason, really easy. All you do, that's plug that back in and the taillight will work as just a standard stock brake light. Mod, you know, without the modulator in place. So the next step is you're gonna, you can use this included um, splice. These aren't the best design. Alternatively, if you wanna take it up a notch, you could put a posi, a posi tap. Our part number is EC01T. And those, they're just a little, little bit nicer um, quality, but this works. It's included with the kit. Um, as long as everything doesn't move around in here, these usually hold up for a long time and everything's weather protected back here. So not really a concern. And you have the rest of the kit. So we'll have the wiring in here. So there's several wire colors that come off this. Um, the black is going to go to that one with, uh, that, that crimp right there. So you have the black, and you have the red and the yellow. So, all right. So I'd suggest cutting uh, the 
the three wires, the yellow, black, and red, a little shorter. And then go ahead and strip about a quarter inch off all these. And I'll show you the configuration of the crimp terminals that we'll put on these here. So first of all, you got the female terminal. That's going to go on your red wire, just like such. Take your crimp tool. Pretty important that you have nice uh, crimps that are tight. So just squeeze it pretty much as tight as you can go with your hands. Give it a tug. If it doesn't come off, you're, you're golden on your connection there. So, And the wire needs to be all the way up in there. You don't want to push the insulation too far up in there either. So. And go ahead and take your male uh, blade connector and that goes on your black wire here. And crimp that on there. Push that right onto your black crimp right there. And then the yellow goes here. And then the black goes right like such. So at this point, you may want to have a rag kind of draped over the back of your scooter because we're going to put it in the pro, we're going to program the flash rate of our light. So we need to have the light in place, to check out the operation. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this back in just temporarily, have it hang off the back so I have a visual reference of how this, our brake light module will flash. So I'll leave that out for everybody to see. Turn the scooter on, go ahead and pull the brake. So you can see it's a very fast flash rate. Um, the next step is we, you want to put a zip tie or a bungee cord around the brake lever to hold that uh, lever in a fixed position. So I just put a little bungee cord around my lever just to activate the brake light. So the brake light's stuck on at this point. And at this point, we want to go into programming mode. So. So now that the brake light's just stuck on, you got this white wire, uh, included alligator clips. You clip it to the little white wire. And I like to use a swing arm, which is a ground. So the, each time you tap this wire to the ground, you can change the speed of how it flashes. It has several different modes. So it's getting really slow. And then it's gonna cycle to hyper fast. Maybe you like that. I kinda like it about right there, but you can go all the way around. I think the third fastest one is the one I like. So super slow, super fast. And that's pretty fast, I like that one. So obviously with the LED taillights, you can flash them really, really quick. And at this point, it's all buttoned up. So you could tape this wire off with a little bit of um, electrical tape or any type of tape, just make sure it doesn't touch anything else in there because you don't want it programming while it's um, installed in the scooter. And at this point, we can just turn it off. Electrical tapes do the trick. And we'll go ahead and get this little connection back onto that little tab. And is what you could do with this little module right here is tuck this right into this, uh, your, your pocket where the, the tail light goes. And just make sure the wire doesn't get pinched because you got that single fastener right there where the, um, the wire goes. And there it is. So that's the install of the brake light modulator on your 2023. So don't forget to put the single nut that holds the taillight in place and you're all set. Thanks for watching. It's Robot here from Vespa Motorsport and ScooterWest.com. First time across this channel. Uh, go to Vespa Motorsport on YouTube and there's hundreds and hundreds of how-to videos for all Vespas, whether you got a modern brand new Vespa and want to accessorize it or vintage Vespa, want to rebuild it or a fairly new Vespa that needs service and you want to tackle it all on your own. See you in the next one.